YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Raw Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we got the last matchup of Summer Showdown. We got Crown Heads Lock Kareem going up against Aganor, the Guardian of the Farm. Huge fan of both of these cigars. I cannot wait to put them head to head. Y'all sit back, stay tuned. We're going to get at it. All right, all right, all right. Last matchup of the Summer Showdown's Final Four, we're gonna be looking at the Aganorsa Guardian of the Farm, going up against Crown Hits La Kareem, two very, very good cigars. Been a huge fan of these both for years. I remember when the La Kareem and the Guardian of the Farm both came out. These are both cigars that have debuted since I started smoking cigars, so I'm very proud to say I was smoking these once they first came out. Currently still smoking them, obviously highly recommend both of them. On this matchup, I'm gonna smoke the Guardian of the Farm first, as you guys know or have grown accustomed to. I like smoking the things that I'll think that'll be lighter than the darker profile stuff first to try not to drown the flavors out or try not to alter anything. Now you guys know in between cigars, I take quite a bit of time, drink some dark or drink some mineral water, eat dark chocolate trying to cleanse my palate. But even still with that, I like to smoke the lighter one first and then go heavier as I go further along. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. If you watch the first matchup, you'll know that this is the Campion size, which is a six by 52 patented Aganorsa 109 cap, closed foot on this thing, just a very lovely cigar. This one has tight invisible seams, not very toothy, but it is bumpy. Has some veins present. The cap is not the neatest in the world, but nothing that, that detracts from me picking up this cigar. Kind of has a hay and barnyard smell to it. Can't find my XO again. I think it's in my, I think it's somewhere around in my man cave. So we'll go ahead and use this Zycar Enzo today. As I stated before, I like this cutter, but this is a, you have to use two hands with this one, whereas the XO, you hit the button and you can do everything with one hand. Mmm. Very prominent berry, blueberries popping off of this. Getting a nice chocolate on there too. But even still, the blueberry was more, it seems like it was more prominent in that first cold draw. It's there, but not as, not as intense. Now, I've told you guys multiple times about lighting cigars with closed feet. Make sure to keep them away from you. Nobody wants to have ashes on them, especially if you're dressing nice or out at a nice bar or B&M or something like that. The last thing you want to do is drop ash on your nice clothes. As I've stated before, this is a Nicaraguan Puro from Aganorsa, Corojo 99 Heavy. This is a sub $9 cigar, which is a great cigar. For me personally, in a price range of staying in that $10 and under daily smoking category, this is right there at it. Got us a good light. Nice good pepper hit on that. Black pepper's probably coming in around a six and a half or a seven. Nice oak wood is coming in on that. Almost like a brown sugar was there too. Yeah, brown sugar, wood, black pepper. That's pretty much what I'm picking up right now. So we'll go ahead and get warmed up in this first third. Come back, give you body flavor, strength, all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, we're jumping through this first third now. Flavor notes are still around the same. I thought the brown sugar was dying off a little bit, but here just recently in the last draw or two, it's kind of picked back up. The oak wood is still there, but it's kind of morphing into a nice cedar. Still getting some nice pepper on this one as well. Not bad, not bad at all. Draw has been good. Burn has been performing just fine. Been able to completely enjoy this cigar. Right now, I'm gonna say medium on everything. Medium, medium on body, flavor, and strength. Just a really nice morning time now. Very nice morning cigar for me as well too. So 
nothing else really to report back so i'll come back after the second third see if anything is changing any strength or anything like that to let you guys know about so y'all hang tight and stay tuned all right so we're back working our way through the second third a lot of the same flavor still the brown sugar has dipped off a little bit which i'm not really that big of a fan of i think that the brown sugar sweetness helped along with the cedar and oak wood notes the pepper it kind of gave a nice balance of sweetness there this one now is just mostly that oaky wood some cedar in there as well still getting some pep some pepper black pepper in the underlying taste but the brown sugar uh, dropping off definitely hurt it a little bit in my opinion but again this is still an enjoyable cigar i did have to do one relight even though i was still smoking it like normal it went out on me a couple or not a couple times it went out on me once so i had to relight it but now it seems like it's back running like a train like it normally does so that again will probably lose a point or so just for for having to do a relight normally as you guys know if i'm doing a normal review if i had to do one relight or a touch up it's probably not going to affect the score but when we're talking about a tournament setting every little thing matters when you're competing against another cigar so other than that i would still say the body of the smoke is on that low side of medium to full flavors as well on that low side of medium to full and the strength is maybe a, a notch or two above medium still not in that really medium to full range but definitely a little bit stronger than your textbook medium overall really enjoyable cigar so far so we'll keep smoking through this second third get through this back third give you guys some points and then we'll get to this crown heads locker room and see if it could take it down or not so y'all hang tight All right, so we're finishing up in this last third of this Guardian of the Farm. Been a great performance by this so far. Still consistent on flavors from the second third. Still just lost that sweetness. Still getting a lot of oak wood, cedar, black pepper. That's on the finish too. The finish is really nice. Not a bad taste in your mouth or anything like that. Now, I will show in the B-roll, I had to do one touch up the burn line. Even towards the end, it was getting a little wavy to the point where I couldn't go without correcting it. So in this whole experience, just one touch up, one relight, not a bad day, but something I'm definitely going to have to knock points off for. So speaking of points, let's go ahead and rate this cigar. So for flavor, I gave it a 16 out of 20. Nice, good flavors throughout the beginning to end. Just wish the sweetness of that uh, brown sugar, like natural tobacco sweetness, kind of would have hung around for a little bit longer. I think it would have helped make it more of an enjoyable cigar. But still, still a great cigar. I gave the draw a 20 out of 20. No issues with the draw. I gave the burn an 18 out of 20, unfortunately, with the relight and the touch-up, I had to take some points away from it. Complexity is 16 out of 20. Again, not going to be the most complex blend. You're getting some nice flavors, but that drop-off definitely hurt it a little bit. And then I gave the strength a 16 out of 20. So overall score on this is going to be an 86 out of 100. I would say everything on body flavor and strength has ended up around the same. Except the minor difference would be the strength is definitely on the low side of medium to full. Not... Still not a nicotine bomb or anything that's making you feel dizzy or woozy or sweating, but it's definitely got some strength there, some underlying strength that's really nice. It's been a comfortable gradual ride all the way to this last third. 86 out of 100, very good score by this perform, or a very good performance by this cigar. Again, $9 cigar, I would smoke these every day. It's a very enjoyable smoke. So with that being said, we'll swap over to this Crown Heads La Kareem and see if it can take down this Guardian of the Farm. So y'all hang tight and we'll be right back. We're back after smoking the Guardian of the Farm. 86 on the play for that. Now we're going to be looking at the Crown Heads La Kareem. This size is called a Cannonazzo. This comes in as a 5 and 7 8 by 52 ring gauge. Has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, Ecuadorian Sumatra binder, and fillers from Nicaragua. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and cut it up, smoke it, and see what it has to offer. Pretty good draw. Has some, some raisin on that cold draw. Little bit of wood and pepper this one has tight invisible seams has some tooth present some veins but nothing bad nothing terrible at all i love the band on this this cigar very classic 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 band had a nice double cap on it so we'll go ahead and light it up and see what we got again this this cigar is very hard to come by right now my favorite size in the locker room is the Hermosa, Hermosa number one, which is a smaller ring gauge, a little bit longer. I believe it runs around a six and a quarter by 48, but this is also another fantastic size.
but just that Connecticut broadleaf has become a hot commodity. Immediately hit with some nice earth, black peppers coming in around a seven. Good black coffee on that too. Pretty, pretty much what I'm getting, that nice clean earth. Kind of got a little bit of a mineral taste to it, but not bad. Black pepper, good coffee on it. Really nice so far. Okay, we'll let this first third get heated up, come back, give you body flavor strength. Y'all know what it is, so we will uh, be back shortly, so y'all hang tight. So we're making our way through this first third. Cigar's been putting on a clinic performance-wise. Draw and burn have been fantastic. Still getting some of the some of the notes that were in the beginning. Still getting the nice earth, but it's toned down. The black pepper's there now too. Very nice dark black coffee base on it now too as well. And we're also starting to pick up a nuttiness quality on this too. So they're, all the flavors are working very well together. Just very smooth and balanced. As of right now at this point, I'm gonna say it's medium across the board for me too. Even as I'm talking, I can taste that nice finish. It just has that, that nice, it, actually there's a little bit of dark chocolate in there too. It's not very sweet like a milk chocolate, but it's that dark chocolate, that nuttiness quality, and that black coffee sitting there. It's a really nice tasting, good finish on this one as well too. No complaints so far, medium across the board. So we're gonna keep on smoking through this second, third, see if anything changes, come back, let you know of any updates or anything like that. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're rolling right on through this second, third. Fantastic smoke so far. A lot of the same flavor notes except for the dark chocolate and the nuttiness quality has intensified really nicely. Very, very, not super intense, but definitely a, a big shift in intensity from that first third through that second third. Pepper is still there, the earth is still there, but they're definitely in the background. That nuttiness and that dark chocolate is it's what's in the forefront at the moment. I would easily say right now, medium to full on body, medium to full on flavor, still textbook medium on strength. Not any strength at all, just a lot of flavor. This is another really good example of what Connecticut Broadleaf can be when it's done and blended correctly. Very good example of this. Draw and burn, phenomenal. Just been enjoying this cigar wholeheartedly. So we're gonna keep on smoking through the second third, get through this last third, come back, give you some points and see if it can take down that guardian of the farm. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, we're coming through this last third. Still a lot of the same flavors, except for the dark coffee is still predominant, but the sweetness from that dark chocolate has kind of died off a little bit, kind of a little disappointing, but still enjoying it. Smoke is still staying cool. Definitely end up nubbing this one out, but the sweet or the, the sweetness of that dark chocolate or like that characteristic has died off some. Now it's mostly black coffee, earth, peppers, kind of what's in this last third. But I feel comfortable right now, go ahead and scoring it. So that's what we'll do. Medium to full on body, <clears throat> medium to full on flavor, still textbook medium on strength. Maybe a notch or two above, but nothing nothing you'd have to worry about. So for flavor, I gave it a 16 out of 20. If that dark chocolate note would have remained through the rest of this cigar, it probably would have been around a 17 because I was really enjoying that last half of that second third, beginning of the, the final third, that dark chocolate along with the other flavors was really nice, nice and intense with how I like it, but it just died off. <clears throat> so that'll get a 16 out of 20. The draw, I gave a 20 out of 20. The burn, a 20 out of 20. Never had any issues with this cigar at all. Complexity, a 16 out of 20. And the strength, a 16 out of 20, which is going to give this cigar an overall score of an 88 out of 100. So, this will move on to the championship round against the HVC Cero. Should be a very good match. Both cigars are excellent. As I've stated before, all eight of these cigars are cigars that I am a fan of. There were no losers in this tournament as far as I'm concerned. Just wanted to showcase eight different cigars that are cigars that i frequently smoke that i think a lot of you should try if you haven't already many of you have enjoyed these cigars even before this tournament and this is just confirming that you aren't crazy that i'm not crazy that we both think these or we all think that these are great cigars so with that being said y'all already know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment and damn sure don't forget to be driven and never motivated we'll catch y'all in the championship match